All right, CFTC, we've got our Friday workout in front of us here. All right, it's going to be the support, support your local box workout that's uh, been been promoted and, and being provided through CrossFit.com. All right, the main site's been doing this fundraiser for the last couple of weeks if you've been following. If none of that stuff makes any sense to you, it's not a problem at all. All right, you still got good fitness in front. All right, we've got four separate movements of 50 reps each. Okay, we'll go over all of those movement standards, things to do if you don't have the appropriate weight. By that, we just mean the prescribed kind of movement itself. We'll show you what you can do instead. All right, it's going to start with 50 dumbbell deadlifts. All right, if you happen to have a matching set of dumbbells, feel free to do that. All right, by do that, I mean put one in either hand and perform said rep. All right, if you don't have two sets of dumbbells, as probably most of us, myself included, do not, then what we'll be doing instead is basically either using a plate, a bag, or maybe one single dumbbell, all right, and holding both sides of it. I would uh, encourage to hold both sides. You can obviously modify it to kind of cut that range of motion down, holding it just on one hand, all right? But if we can, we're gonna try and grip both sides here. Heels are underneath our hips, belly's tight as always. All right, we're going to initiate with our hips by reaching our butt back. Range of motion will be secondary here. As long as my wrist is lower than my knee, all right, that's kind of the range of motion we need, all right? If you have the flexibility to get your fingers by your ankles, even better, but making sure my posture is still locked in, belly's tight, so back straight. Press the floor down, squeezing your butt as you come to a full stand. Again, reaching your hips back, driving the floor away, that's elevating our torso. Obviously, if we don't have a dumbbell, we have a plate, you'll have two hands on here. You can either have that plate pointed down, maybe a little wider stance now, just make sure those knees are out of the way, tapping the floor, squeezing the butt as you stand, or again, can have it parallel to the floor. If you have the flexibility, trying to make sure that our fingers find our ankles. Either option will work, okay? That's gonna roll, great. It's gonna fall, even better. All right, stop, drop, and roll for fitness, ladies and gentlemen, because you are on fire, believe it or not. You're lighting up the world with your sparks and energies. We love it. So, what do I do if I don't have any weight? All right, or don't have the ability to maybe just load a bag even, all right, with water bottles or other things sitting around the house. Not a problem. You're simply gonna perform, you guessed it, your favorite burpee, all right? We'll have you do burpees instead of the deadlifts today. So just kicking back and out, peel. Nice and easy, all right? Now, after you've performed your deadlifts, the prescribed next movement is the ab mat sit up, okay? If you don't have an ab mat like myself, you can maybe roll a towel, which I probably should have done, but I didn't, okay? You can slide that on your lumbar like the low back, all right? But even if you don't wanna do that, maybe it feels uncomfortable or awkward, that's fine. We'll have you do a, a straight leg sit up instead. All right, so you'll lay down, legs together. From here, falling back, arms come overhead. You would do the same if you had the ab mat. You're gonna throw your arms forward, touching your toes, all right? We're looking for from full extension to full flexion so that my hip crease, all right, is closed. My shoulders are in front of my hips, all right? I'm leaning forward at the top of every rep. Again, if you have an ab mat, wonderful. Your legs don't have to be straight for that. You can have those feet touching. You don't even have to do a straight leg deadlift here if you don't have it, or excuse me, a straight leg sit up. If you don't have the ab mat either, that's fine. Feet can touch. We just wanna try and avoid, again, stopping short in our extension. So we're coming to that full, pardon me, in our flexion. So we're coming to that full flexion, all right? Next is going to be the box step up, okay? These are unweighted. If you happen to have a box or you have steps that you feel are a comfortable height to get to, you'll do that. It's 50 total reps, so it'll be 25 per leg, alternating every time, okay? If I don't have a box, like I said, like myself, then you're gonna be doing an alternating reverse lunge, all right? Hands could be on your hips, they could be behind your head, they could be down by your side. All right, you're gonna take that step back. My knee tap, tap, taps the floor, all right? I'm gonna be pressing through that front heel Squeezing my butt as I come to a full stand. Same exact thing on the other side. All right, I encourage the reverse lunge. All right, this is gonna be more of kind of a fail safe to make sure you're pressing through that front heel. All right, kind of replicating standing up as opposed to pushing back. All right, but again, if the forward lunge is what you prefer, go for it. Obviously, if you have something to step to, we'd encourage that as well. Just make sure it's safe and stable. Finally, all right, it's going to be 50 single arm dumbbell thrusters. All right, with regards to the dumbbell thruster, you are going to be essentially using a weight that you feel confident if I asked you to get about 20 plus reps on broken at, you could. It shouldn't feel too heavy or too unbearable. 
So consider that when you're uh, kind of modifying your reps. You can obviously start with one weight for the deadlift and maybe go to no weight for what the thruster option will be. You can keep an eye open for that, all right? But if you do have a weight you feel comfortable with, you'll get that weight up to the shoulder. Heels will be shoulder width, toes are pointed out, belly's tight. All right, as always, you're initiating by reaching your butt back, knees out, then jump, and keep your heels glued as your knees lock, your hips open, then your arm will extend, you're thrusting that weight off your shoulder. From the side profile, I don't begin squatting until the dumbbell hits the shoulder. I don't begin standing until my knees are locked and my hips are open. All right. Again, if you don't have access to a dumbbell, but we do have a plate, we can stuff a bag. All right, you'll just have two hands on here. Don't try and do one hand with plates, please. Okay, you'll simply grip the plate in front. It'll be relatively vertical, butt back, knees out all the way down, jump, and that head comes through at the top. All right, obviously it's not single arm there. You'll still be performing 50 reps. If you don't have access to any weights here, you don't have that backpack, all right, then what we'll just have you simply do is going to be the air squat, all right? From here, it's just butt back, it's knees out, all the way down, all the way up. Here, however, you will be performing 100 reps. So if you're doing it unweighted, okay, we're gonna have you simply perform double the number of squats. So you'll do 100 air squats to finish, all right? So again, Make sure you kind of look at those details, have an understanding of what you're actually supposed to be doing here. All right, we can obviously modify movement if we need to. Most importantly, make sure that you're enjoying yourself, getting outside when it's beautiful if you can, you're staying safe, you're staying healthy. Since you're watching, I know you're staying fit. All right, butterfly challenge doesn't stop, it never stops. If you've fallen off, you can always reworm, re-caterpillar, re-cocoon, whatever evolution process you want to do. We don't believe in etymology over here. I would just believe in good attitudes, energy, and outrageous fun. All right? Good luck, CFD.